How's it going? We're gonna do a 99 cent store haul. Please reserve your opinions about my hair because I also think it's too short. The other day, I went just to like scope it out, see what's going on at the 99 cent store, you know, formulate some ideas in my brain about what I might wanna get the next time I go because whenever I go to a grocery store that's not like one of my usual stores, I have like anxiety. You don't know where everything is. Anyway, so I only got four things and it was $10. Just got some things that like I knew I would want regardless of the video. I got this, which actually is a big disappointment. I do not like this cereal. I've actually had their like Cocoa Crispy type cereal and I liked it a lot better. So I don't know why this feels like it tastes like nothing, but this was $1.99. Everything butter. I was very curious about this. Hemp, almond, peanut, pepita, chia, sesame, sunflower, and flaxseed. This brand, they had almond butter by this brand, peanut butter by this brand, and a Odi nut butter, $2.99 though. Strawberry preserves, they had like orange marmalade, fig jam. It was only $1.99. You can like see the chunks of strawberry in there. So if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you will not be surprised by this, but I've been making a lot of strawberry flavored green tea beverages with my jam. I literally just mix in some jam into the tea while it's hot. So it really like fuses in there, you know? And then I just pour it over ice. You can strain it if the chunks bother you, but it's so good fruity flavored tea you can do this with any kind of preserves i don't know if i've ever seen this before ready to eat out of the can jackfruit barbecue flavored i'm kind of scared that this isn't good but we will we will try it out this was actually 2.99 and then today i went back clearly i got a lot of stuff 81.75 so with this stuff i spent about 90 dollars. and yes i did have to get a plastic bag because i thought four bags would be enough and it wasn't so they had two different kinds of this brand of sesame milk and I don't think I've ever had it. I got the barista blend and it's rainbow. I really like the packaging. It says it froths, steams, and foams. I don't really do the frothing and the steaming and the foam. I don't do any of that. Uh, but I like using barista blends or like creamy milks because it's not quite a creamer Also creamier than the standard plant-based milk, you know So I was a bit disappointed just because I bought it for coffee, you know And then I didn't end up liking it that much in coffee Like it just didn't hit the same It made me want my oat milk, you know But when I tried it on its own, I liked the flavor of it So like I would buy it again, but I would just like buy it for using in other things, you know but Yeah, I think it's just not for everyone, but it's good and it is creamy. It's definitely creamy milk. An unsweetened soy milk. They had an oat milk from Pacifica. Pacific? I wasn't sure if it was any good. I got this guava nectar. They had a bunch of this Kearns brand. Decent ingredients. And when I say ingredients, I'm not trying to be like, oh, these ingredients are bad. Don't drink that, whatever. I'm more thinking about the cost. If I'm going to buy a fruit juice, it's a better deal if I can get one that's like got more fruit in it. You know? Okay, so I didn't mean to put all the beverages in the beginning of the video, but this is what happened. I promise you there is food in this video. So this is the main thing that I use this guava nectar for, and I would definitely buy it again just for making these little drinks. I was thinking of like a refresher kind of drink that has like tea and fruit juice in it, you know? I don't really, like I don't order like Starbucks refreshers or whatever, so I don't really know what they taste like. I don't really know what's in them, but just like the vibes, you know? Something refreshing and like mm, nice, sweet, uh, hydrating little, yeah, anyways. So I shake it in the shaker with some ice and it makes it like a little bit frothy at the at the top of it you know so good delicious i used three tea bags for two people to make it like a little bit extra tea flavor you know I got this giant thing of organic baby bella mushrooms. This is a big one and this is $4.99. And they also look like pristine condition. The produce section honestly is not good. I didn't expect it to be the best produce and I've been there before, but I feel like it got worse maybe. You can just like smell the rotting produce. Things that are like sealed on their own look really good or at least Fine. Peanut butter from that Fix and Fog brand. It says it's high oleic peanuts, which I don't know what that means, but it looks like really, really smooth. It looks like suspiciously smooth in there. Oh, I did not even notice. These are different size, which makes sense why they're the same price. Tomatoes, which I didn't get a lot of fresh things, but these looked okay. The other tomatoes all looked like shit. There's only $1.49. Can of chickpeas, garbanzo beans. 
a lot of their beans were 99 cents but where i live at walmart you could get a lot of canned non-organic beans for like 80 something cents not that it's a bad deal but that's kind of how they get you after perusing the 99 cent store my verdict is if you just do your normal shopping and you're not like actively thinking about everything and comparing it to other stores you probably won't save as much money as you think you will you know but like if you're intentional with it you can save money but you just have to not get got on the certain things you know so before we get on with the rest of the video i'd like to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video which is scentbird if you've never heard of scentbird before they are a fragrance company that allows you to test out different fragrances perfumes colognes without having to buy the entire bottle and they also give you little cards for each of them it gives you information about the fragrance as well as the ingredients and the like notes that you're going to get from the scent so this month i got Perfumes de Marly, Valaya, Valaya. Notes of bergamot, white peach, orange blossom, vanilla, and musk. I thought that sounded nice and like pleasant. This initio side effect it has notes of cinnamon bark, rum, tobacco, saffron, and sandalwood. And I feel like this one is my favorite of this month. It has like a warm vibe, you know? This one I really picked out because I was really fascinated. And this is the benefit of Scentbird. Like if there's anything that you want to try, but uh, it's a little bit different for you, you know, you're not like sure if you would like it that much So you don't want to pay for the full bottle. You can just get the little sample. This one is called House of Beau El Sireno Kelp, Sandalwood, Magnolia, Lang Lang, and Oak Moss. It's not like something that I would necessarily want for like every day But like I'm glad I tried it and they come in these nice little cases You turn it so that you can then spray it. I'm not gonna spray my camera, but spray. They have a wide range of fragrances on there I really like their clean section. You know, I like the more like natural scents And I obviously like that you can find vegan and cruelty free scents in there. They have a quiz on their website where you can fill out like what kind of vibe you're going for so if you want to check out scentbird you can click the link below and use my code to get 50 percent off your first month so it's only about seven dollars and with that let's get on with the rest of the video so i got these i've never seen these before there's a lot of brands and products there that i've never seen before if you have a 99 cent store near you it's definitely worth just seeing what's there and they have certain like like trendy things like the liquid death or like they had the blogilates bars there. This was $1.99. This is tamari and seaweed, umami and savory rice cakes. My idea for these rice cakes was to do like, like a snacky lunch where um, I make a tuna, which is a chickpea tuna, like the spicy mayo tuna salad. I always say I'm gonna do this and I never do it, but I'm gonna freeze aquafaba to use later. This is really hard to pour. Okay, chickpeas. I'm gonna try to use a muddler to mash them. See how that works. This seems to be working okay. Oh, uh, maybe not. Because it kind of just gets stuck in the crevices. Get off. We have our mashed chickpea. Ew. I was wondering if they changed the recipe at all. Because it's been a while since this has been out. And I feel like they might have. Ooh, okay. Well, I feel like it can squirt better. In to the bowl we go i'm gonna add in some of this umami seasoning that i depend on for my life some of this gochujang miso sauce that i'm also been obsessed with lately obviously like sriracha or anything like that would work me telling you guys to use sriracha that's so insensitive i'm gonna put a little bit of sesame oil in here frozen minced garlic it's in a bag in a bag because it's Stanky as hell and it stinks up the entire freezer. I'm gonna put ginger in here for fun. I'll put a little soy sauce. I won't add salt yet because I want to see how salty it is. Yum! Check that out. I'm going to put green onion in here and some of my matchstick carrots. I'm also putting cucumber in it. They did not have good cucumber at the 99 cent store. It looked terrible. You know, this video is like my review of the 99 cent store. Definitely, you know, go to the 99 cent store for random deals on random stuff. <laughs> Don't go there for produce. Don't go there for vegan protein options. Honestly, it looks kind of weird. Why does it look weird? Oh, I thought they would smell really interesting, but they actually don't smell like much. Oh, oh, I was looking at this and I was like, where's all the stuff? Okay, there's definitely a sea taste. I mean, a seaweedy smell to it. 
It's very subtle. I definitely taste the seaweed. It's not bad. It's fine. <laughs> it tastes like health food, basically, but not in a bad way. Oh, this is gonna look really weird. I'm seeing this now. It doesn't look pretty. Green onion. Put a little bit of this on there. Oh shit, came out fast. I would definitely prefer this on a rice bowl, but as like an easy snack, it's pretty good. Easy snack or lunch, depending on how much you eat. I'm gonna have at least one more of these for lunch. With all the shitty produce they have there, they had fresh shiitake and oyster mushrooms. I don't know about you, but where I live, the only places you get those here are like health food stores or the Asian grocery. And they look decent. We will see when I open them. $1.99 each. I wasn't sure like exactly what I want to use them for, so I'm just going to cut them up and try to saute them and slightly season them so I can just freeze them. I would love to be able to add them to ramen or rice bowls or whatever. So I, I did wash them. I know people don't like when you wash the mushrooms, but I did try to like squeeze some of the water out and I'm gonna cut them and start cooking them. I hear you're supposed to do them dry. Okay, once they start releasing the water, then you add the salt and oil and stuff. So I tried it. Hopefully it's hot enough. They're supposed to squeak, I guess. They are squeaking. They smell so delightful. They're cooking, they're cooking, they're cooking. Like, I haven't added anything yet, and now they're all wet. Because they've been releasing. I don't know what I'm doing. Salt. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh -huh. Well, they smell amazing. What really is the line between burned and charred? So I'm putting those in a stasher bag and I'm just like flattening them so that after they're frozen, they'll be easier to break apart, you know? And now we're making those fried oyster mushroom, oyster mushrooms. I feel like I've done this like one once before maybe, um, but like a long time ago. I only bought one pack of each mushrooms because I was like scared that they would be like secretly moldy underneath when I opened them up or whatever. But as I was making them, I was like, man, I wish I would have bought more because for me, like going through the work of like frying stuff, like, you know, dredging it and then making all the mess and making your kitchen smell like oil like i i just always want to do like a bulk amount so that it feels more like worth it you know and i could like freeze half of them and then like put them in the oven leftovers later anyways we're going moving on to this cornbread you know i baked with two mixes in this video and i i ruined both of them spoiler spoiler alert um, so if you have any tips, you know, for making mixes work with vegan alternatives, let me know. Like, is it my oven? Cause it very well could be. I know this oven is like crazy. It looks thin though. Like the batter looks really thin now that I'm looking at it on the screen. I don't know how I didn't notice in real life. I was probably just like nervous about, about to fry cause frying make me, makes me nervous. Um, every time I want to, like, I love frying things. I love fried things, obviously, but like frying things, it makes me so nervous. Like, I just feel like I'm going to burn my face off somehow. Um, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, so here I'm frying them and I'm using Edgy Veg's recipe. I'll link it below. It's a really good recipe. I really like the breading, uh, the, the bread, the bread, the coat, the, the breading, the breading, right? The bread, that's what it's called. Um, yeah, they were so good. My only problem was like, you know, in her video, she says to, she had bigger clumps than me, I think though, bigger clusters. She says to cut off like the end of the stem because it's like a woody, unpleasant texture, you know, but I had a hard time cutting that off with Without the clusters just falling apart so i don't know if it's just because mine were smaller or what but um yeah that was my only thing and then this last one is just like me like throwing all the like little bits and the leftover of all the batter together and um frying that and that was good so yeah my cornbread it ended up like so flat it didn't rise like at all and it like burned around the edges a little not burned but just overly overcooked you know um, but obviously once you put butter and like I put some agave on it like I used like honey on cornbread So nowadays I put like agave or maple syrup on it or whatever. It's still delicious, but just like what happened um, I got a little bit of crumbs on the floor mm. Oh my god, it's so good and then I made a little sauce, but I don't know like it's kind of randomly thrown together I put a little bit of that garlic and herb flavor up stuff Here's dinner, woo, it looks a little bit weird, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I would highly recommend. And then the cornbread. I definitely messed it up, dry as hell. I don't know what happened. Chili, I guess this chili has like crumbles in it. Tastes like a soup. 
Tastes like a soup. I like this less than the other one. Tastes like a bland soup, but not bad. Just like it needs extra salt, maybe or something. And I got some bananas to let ripen and then freeze. Okay, so you know I froze my bananas. Um, well, I ate a couple of them at, for breakfast or whatever before freezing them, but I froze most of them and I made some smoothies. These are blue. Uh, these blueberries will come up later in the video. Um, I'm also using the peanut butter that I bought from the dollar store. Um, really good peanut butter. Fancy. I can't believe it was $2.99. I feel like that would be $5 at least at, you know, local health food store. Um, making my typical smoothie with oats and water, oat milk, bananas, blueberries, hemp seeds. I think that's it. Delicious. I actually got two different plant-based chilies. It looked like it was accidentally vegan. Campbell's soup. Casey made the comment that it looks like dog food, which I agree. It's weird packaging. And then I also got the specific plant-based chili. One thing which I thought was really weird, the last time I'd gone to the that same 99 cent store, I remember them having a lot more bread options, but now it's like the bread section is really small and it's not very good looking at all. Anyways, I got these sourdough English muffins. I was thinking dual purpose because I hate buying buns, hamburger buns or hot dog buns. It's just not super efficient for me. It's not something that I'm gonna use a lot. This is more versatile maybe? Um, so yeah, just making a little breakfast with the English muffins. I've been putting a plate, you know, my air fryer is still broken, so that's what I used to use to toast bread. Nowadays, I toast it on a pan and I put like a plate over it to make sure that it toasts, which helps. It does help. Wish I had a toaster though. I want to get a toaster, but I don't want any more appliances. Um, yeah, so I put peanut butter and banana on half of them and I put butter and jam on the other half. My jam from the dollar store, my peanut butter from the dollar store, my bananas from the dollar store organic rice some gnocchi which i think was $1.99 got this sauce to eat it with which was $3.99 you can get tomato sauces cheaper than this for sure but this would be more like six dollars or more at um, a different store since the selection of plant-based protein ingredients that were there was so narrow i've been trying to be a little creative you know i wanted to make a meat sauce for the gnocchi i used to make like a walnut meat like a ground beef alternative half ground walnuts half black beans you would like put it in the food processor together with like other stuff and i really liked it and it was super easy it's very like pantry stable which i like and i found one where they used mushrooms in it and i'm not gonna go exactly by the recipe i'm just gonna like use it as inspiration let's see okay i never used this food processor like literally forget that I have it all the time let's make sure it still works yes oh looks fun walnuts yep. okay walnut meat it's here put in the mu uh, the mushroom the walnut looks like that this is just weird it's very wet. Definitely gotta let it, you know, evaporate out. Salt. This is so weird. Just cook until it's browned beautifully, but I don't know. Okay, it's definitely drying out. I kind of like how it tastes just plain. Like, I'm scared that it's like burning. But that bit that I just tasted didn't taste burnt at all. It's drying up and it's crumbling. But it looks weird. You know what? I could add some of this stuff and see how that goes. Mmm. Oh, this smells good. I'm gonna use it. Ooh. Mmm. They say to use a tablespoon. It's more crumbly now. Look at it. Look at it. I feel like, okay, I'm gonna taste some. It does taste like nuts. Like, it does have a nuttiness to it, but I really like it. Should I put frozen broccoli in it? Ugh, oh, this sucks. It's like big giant chunks of stem. Ooh, that smells delicious though. Man, I feel like the walnut meat like had a good texture. It had a good like, wasn't too moist anymore. And then now that I add it back in the sauce, I feel like it's just like slop again. I don't know about this. Yeah! Drain as soon as they float to the top. Season with your favorite sauce and sprinkle with the grated Parmesan cheese. Don't tell me to eat cheese, bitch. 
And honestly, I didn't even realize that they were gluten-free. Like, it didn't register in my brain that like gnocchi is usually not gluten-free. So I guess there's like corn in it. Corn meal. Yeehaw. Oh, I guess I don't have to strain it. I could just put it straight in here, right? Okay, they're like all floating basically. Oh. We might have a lot more sauce than pasta. That's okay, I'm gonna try one. Oh, it's really hot. It's actually really hot. I don't like it as much, but it's good. Yeah, this is definitely more sauce than gnocchi. Ooh, this just looks like a pile of sauce. And it's a weird color. Um, okay. Um, the texture of the meat, the crumbliness is kind of gone, so that's a little bit annoying. But it tastes really good. A mini watermelon, which is kind of sus. It was like really wet. I tried to pick a good one. I don't know if I did. We will find out. I got a really yellow spot, and I think that means good. 149. So if this is a good watermelon, then that's a really good deal, I think, right? I feel like this would be $4 at a different store. Okay, so there's a really good ramen section at the 99 cent store. They had a bunch of this brand. Oh my God. Feeling disappointed in myself. Everything that I've seen from them is vegan. So I kind of made the assumption that everything they make is vegan, but apparently it's not because this spicy kimchi ramen has shrimp and fish sauce in it. So that's really annoying. But they did have a lot of this brand of ramen there. Garlicky veggie, which is vegan, it says it right there. So just letting you all know, don't make the same mistake as me. Okay, so a lot of the freaking price tickers are like off there, which is really annoying because it's not a store where they have like workers walking around all the time, you know? So if you want to ask about something, you have to take it all the way to the front or make them come to you, which I'm not doing. So I thought this was four for a dollar. It actually was a dollar twenty-nine. I mean, which it's not horrible, but Okay, so the top ramen ramen, top ramen ramen. Um, so this was over a dollar, which, you know, is not expensive, but for ramen, like the other ramen was four for a dollar. So just keep that in mind, but it was a bigger portion. Um, and a lot of the time you see me like putting frozen veggies in the ramen, but I didn't get any frozen veggies from the dollar store. So I was putting my matchstick carrots and broccoli slaw that I bought from the dollar store, which will come up later in this video. I also put some frozen edamame in there and some green onion. Oh yeah, it came with three little packets of stuff. So it came with a seasoning pack, a pack of like dried veggie flakes and some sesame oil. I also put some gochujang miso sauce in there and some mushroom seasoning. Delicious, you know, but like nothing special. Like I don't, I wouldn't need to buy it again. I mean, it's nice that you get a big bowl though. Anyways, and the, but this was 25 cents. I've had this before from Grocery Outlet. It's artificial chicken flavor. So if you need your cheap ramens, try the 99 cents store. There might be more that was vegan too. I didn't feel like reading the ingredients for everything. Okay, so now onto this ramen, which I think is pronounced che. <laughs> Hopefully I'm right. But um, yeah, so this one was only like 24 cents compared to the top ramen one. I mean, it is a sm slightly smaller portion, but like, come on. And I put in my frozen shiitake mushrooms. I definitely am gonna keep doing that. I love I love shiitake mushrooms and just having like a frozen block of them to throw into ramen is so cool. I'm gonna start going to the 99 cent store just for the mushrooms if they keep carrying them. So I also put some carrots and tofu in there. And yeah, this one just comes with veggie flakes and seasoning. Um, I put in some spinach and some peas. I've been putting curry powder in ramen all the time now along with gochugaru and mushroom seasoning and that's so freaking good. It's such a like comforting little combination to me. I don't know just like such a hearty comforting ramen bowl of ramen veggie ramen is so good. Tempura seaweed snacks. Tempura seaweed chips. I got organic dried mango. And I'm not trying to say organic about everything to like pressure you guys to buy organic or be like, organic is the best. But just to emphasize the deals, you know? Oh, I'm fucking telling you. They got me multiple times because they don't put the stickers in the right place. And I'm not mad at the workers because I know they're understaffed. All these corporations suck ass. You know they suck ass because the store is called 99 cents only store but it's obviously not 99 cents only. This was 2.99, which makes more sense, but it clearly said 99 cents underneath the mangoes. Not like it's a horrible deal, 2.99 for organic dried mangoes. I'm sure they're, if they're good, 
They better be good. 100% fruit. Like, what else would it be? These were 99 cents each. I've never had this before. Plant-based tuna. Vegan mayonnaise for $1.99. This is not my favorite mayonnaise, but I haven't tried it in a while, so I'm like giving it another chance. They have a pretty good tea section there. Not a good coffee section. I don't even think I've ever had butterfly PT before, but I always want to try it. This was $2.99, I think. So not a crazy deal or anything. I wish to try. I don't think I've ever tried butterfly PT, and I also don't know that this is going to be like the most high quality uh, example of it from the 99 cent store. And if you've never heard of it, it's like kind of trendy on the apps, you know, with the TikToks and the whatnot. Purpley blue, like indigo flower, like this. When you brew it, it's like purpley blue indigo, but then when you add citrus to it or acidic, anything acidic, it turns like pink. So people would like make it for all these like aesthetic drink videos. I didn't know if it was just gonna be like an herbal tea, but this one actually has some green tea in it and also um, Indian gooseberry, peppermint, ginger, and licorice. So I hope I'll like it because I don't love licorice flavor all the time. It smells interesting. But I want to do it with a lemon. Brewing it. Brewing it. <gasps> it's already turning blue. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah, not even like indigo. Like honestly, it's just such a... It's just so blue. Oh wow, you can really smell the peppermint. I'm gonna sweeten it now so that the sugar dissolves really easily. I'm gonna add a bunch of ice to this. <laughs> to hopefully cool it off quickly because I don't want to wait really. I'm not confident in my abilities. Oh wow, <laughs> that's more tea than I realized. Look how freaking blue that is. That's crazy, crazy. Actually, it's not that sweet. Tastes good though. Minty green tea with some floralness to it. Ooh, I can like see it happening. You can see it happening. I could have done this a better way. Wow, so much fun. <laughs> yeah, but you can see like it's still kind of bluish in some areas. Wow, so pretty. Mmm, that's good though, because it's like minty lemon. It tastes really refreshing and nice. I'm gonna put some agave because I want it to be sweeter. Got the oat brownie mix, which I see this all the time at grocery outlet and it's accidentally vegan. Okay, so like I said, I've been seeing this at grocery outlet for a while now and I know it's like gluten free, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna be that good, you know? No offense to you gluten free people out there. Love you, do your thing, but like also, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it was accidentally vegan and I don't know, I just wanna try it because it's oat flour. It seemed like I wouldn't be able to tell it was gluten free personally, but I also did ruin it. Every time I make brownie mix, I don't know, like something, it always ends up like this where it's like over, it's like crunchy on the outside and it's like, separates the oil separates out it like sinks kind of you know what am i doing like what what happened no matter what like egg replacer i use no matter what mix i use this always happens what vegans like what do you do to make brownie mix should i just not make brownie mix ever and i should just make them from scratch i mean i know i should but is there a way to fix this i don't know also this is my mom's dog he got a little bit scared of the camera at first I got a broccoli slaw to make my coleslaw for my barbecue jackfruit sliders. Jackfruit sliders, I don't know, mini sandwiches. I'm using these sourdough English muffins just because I didn't feel like buying the buns that they had there. I don't know, they just seem better, better quality. I wanted to make a coleslaw for that. So that's what we're doing. I guess coleslaw is usually like just cabbage and carrots, but I'm just gonna use this. I don't think it matters that much. There's barely any purple cabbage though, unfortunately, and also like barely any carrots. It's weird, it's mostly broccoli, but I'm, I can use some of this. And I got the classic coleslaw recipe. Oh shit, my phone's on 1%. Gotta do this fast. Just gonna do some carrots, okay. I'm just throwing some in there. And I am using my Hellman's mayonnaise, which I have actually been liking. I feel like they changed their recipe maybe. Because I just feel like before it was like disturbingly eggy smelling and I feel like it doesn't smell like that anymore. 
Like it still smells like egg, but not as disturbing as before. Before it was like hard to be in the same room as it. Half tablespoon vinegar. And while we're waiting for my phone to turn back on, let's do some stirring. Yeah, I need a bigger bowl than this. Because there's not much to these little sandwiches because it's just jackfruit and the coleslaw. I wanted to have something on the side. So I thought I could try this chili. And then I wanted to see if this had directions. Can be eaten out of the can or heated to desired te temperature. I don't know if I should just mi microwave it. No, I think I'm gonna do it on the stove. I feel like Pacific, the brand Pacific is, you know, it's a good brand and whatnot. I feel like I haven't had bad, anything bad from them, but just I expect everything to be kind of like bland. Like I expect I might have to add my own seasonings and whatnot. This looks pretty good though. Man, I wish we had some cheese for the chili. Not that I really expect the dollar store to have like a bunch of vegan cheese or vegan meat or whatever, but it's like they have some of these really like health store-ish products. So I just thought they'd have like one kind, like one, some weird vegan cheese that I could try. The chili smells good, not gonna lie. Please toast. All right, I'm gonna eyeball a quarter teaspoon. And then some sugar, 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 sugar. One teaspoon, all right. Pepper and salt. I'm gonna put garlic salt, is that weird? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. See what it tastes like, yum yum. Mm -hmm. Delicious, dare I say? I'm scared, I feel like it could taste bad. Okay, so it looks um a bit wet. I don't know, I don't like the way that it looks, but like it's fine. It smells, it smells like barbecue. I'm gonna just uh, put some in the pan. It looks good, I think. Yeah. Not bad. I wouldn't put that straight on the sandwich because it is like very wet. There's not a lot to it. Also, I do taste that like jackfruit taste. I think I'm gonna add a little more seasoning to it. It doesn't have a lot of texture to it. It's very moist and soft, you know? But at least the coleslaw is like extra crunchy because it's broccoli. Please like just focus like it's not that hard. Bitch, okay. I already forgot <laughs> which side is the... Okay, meat coleslaw. You know, it's kind of interesting that we do coleslaw with barbecue meat because like they're both sweet, you know? You're just putting sweet on sweet. That's kind of murka right there. Is that a lot? There she is. My little bun, my little bun. Okay, here's my little lunch. Gonna eat it. It's pretty good. I would season it a little more, but like I would buy it again. Cause it's so easy. I would like a more like taco seasoning version to like add to burrito bowls or burritos. Excuse me. It's definitely missing something. Is it missing salt? It's good. I like it. I wish I had cheese. That'd be so fun. Just a little bit of cheddar cheese. I got some matchstick carrots just to throw into stuff. I got some celery. In case I make soup, cornbread mix to have with my chili and southern fried mushrooms. This was $4.99. Was it? Let's make sure. I believe that something this size at Target, Walmart is like $7. Big bag of thin spaghetti for $1.99. But I got this sour sop. I've never had this fruit before or the juice of it. So I thought I would try it. I think it was 79 cents. And they have it for 99 cents. I just don't know. Let me know if your dollar store, 99 cent store is better about their prices. So I've never seen this before. Garlic and herb. And they also had a like caramelized onion and wine one. Add a tablespoon of it to a dish and it like, it flavor up the dish. One tablespoon, flavor up. So hummus for $1.99. I don't know how I feel about this brand. I feel like I've gotten them like once. I don't remember my opinion of it. I know store-bought hummus is just not as good in general. 
and I got the Violife plant butter. Like, why do they have this here? They had the unsalted and the salted. I got the unsalted. These were each $1.49, and they're both vegan friendly. Pot stickers and spring rolls. And it's kind of a small container, but for $1.49, like. Some frozen broccoli. The veggies is another way they get you because they'll be like, all the frozen veggies are 99 cents. Even at Target, you can get like a bag of frozen veggies for like less than a dollar. Don't just go around buying anything because I feel like you won't save any money. And I got some frozen blueberries. The blueberries were 4 dollars It's a pretty big bag, decent deal. They feel pretty freezer burnt, so we'll see. Okay, so these blueberries were stupid freezer burnt. Like they were so, there was so much ice in the bag. The blueberries looked all like wrinkled, you know, but at least they were really ripe. They were really sweet, you know, and you honestly couldn't really tell when you're eating them. Like I put them in smoothies. It didn't bother me at all, but it's just ridiculous like how bad the frozen veggies were there. <laughs> like your produce isn't good. So you think like the, the freeze, the frozen produce would be the way to go, but no, their frozen produce sucks ass and it's not even that cheap. Anyways. Okay. This is a breakfast that I make a lot. I make toast with nut butter and I put frozen, microwaved frozen blueberries on top. Really easy, you know? I'm using the everything butter. It seems the exact same as when I put peanut butter on toast and then put like seeds on top. It's nothing interesting really, but I mean, it's cool to just have it all in one butter, you know? And then I put the leftover like juice from the microwave blueberries into some tea, some jasmine green tea, just to, I don't know, to use it instead of pouring it down the sink. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, all the comments that I made about the 99 cent store obviously like not all 99 cent stores are going to be the exact same but i'm sure there's a lot of similarities if you go to yours you'll probably find some similarities you know um and this is just a slideshow of random other stuff that i found there that i took videos of when or pictures of when i was there to make like a tiktok with if you go to my tiktok i did make a tiktok of the 99 cent store products but um yeah just some stuff that i didn't get for the video for whatever reason and yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one i'll be posting a lot of like fall content coming up um and holiday stuff so please look out for that hope you have something delicious today goodbye